Hey guys, so what's this? Um, yeah, now an um, unboxing uh, quandary. Uh, what a lot of shit. This is an unboxing. This is just like opening some shit that I've bought. It's not, I'm not gonna. Why do people insist on these unboxings to play some shitty cheesy music? You know, it's like some porn movie type music or some amazingly dramatic big super. It's a arse. It's a freaking box. Just open the box and get on with it. Uh, this is a gift from my missus. Uh, it's my birthday before too long, so uh, she give me free reign on eBay, which isn't always a good thing, um, to buy some stuff. And um, what have I bought? I bought myself a hot air a rework station. Watched a few, I've uh, seen a few re. Oh shit, that doesn't sound clever, did it? Yeah, so I've seen a few. Um, videos about this particular one so this, I'm not, not going to go into the ins and outs of it uh, just awesome bit of kit well wrapped um, do you really want to know this crap how well wrapped over it is it's uh, it's in a box it works oh well, I'm saying it works I hope it works if not it will be going back um, yeah it's, it's supposed to have come from China but it would appear that it came relatively locally because I only ordered this four or five days ago something like that so I'm very happy with that the fact that it's come locally um, now as local as oops, actually, what's it say on the box? Yeah, so this according to this has actually come from Longgang District, Miss Lee. Um, yeah, I don't know whether you can see that, but where it's actually seventy, it's come on seventy-two hour delivery. So hell, those guys fly, don't they? I'll move around, and it's one of those local delivery firms called Yordle. Um, I don't know, is it Yodel or Yodel? I don't know, is it, you know, is it some sort of hood type thing? Uh, okay, let's have a quick look, make sure the basics. So there's a few basics when you're getting these, this crap from China. Sorry, these are most amazing tools from our Chinese brethren. The plug, quite often they have a nasty habit of putting a horrible plug on that has got uh, insulated earth. Got to make sure you do not want any insulation on earth. In fact, while I'm here, if I can find a screwdriver that'll do the job, Let's have a quick look inside and make sure that it's all wired up right. Yep, that looks okay. 13 amp fuse might be a little bit heavy. Uh, what the wire feels cheap. But it's all crimp terminals screwed in. Uh, always worth making sure that they are tight. Yep, that's good. I'll, uh, I'd happily um, let somebody else plug that in and stand back and watch them go bang. I'm more than happily watch the mails go bang. That uh, sounds pretty cool, actually. Maybe not watch that. Anyway, um, yeah. So I've got such a pile of shit in the corner of this room. It's incredible. So what we've got going on here? Do I put it together? Okay. So I'm not sending that bit back. Nice box of bits. Oh, okay. And so there's my nozzles. Posh shit. Uh, does that sit on? How can that sit? What? Or am I being a complete knob? Because I would have thought that that would sit like that, or is it like that? Ah, I see, so it sits that way. So the air points up into the nowhere instead of pointing down at the desk and melting the shit. That's quite handy. Okay, I'll, I'll take that back. I couldn't I was just being a bit stupid there. Cool beans. Right, we'll get this lashed on. Obviously, right tool for the right job, and this is not the right tool for this job. But it's a tool that'll do the job. People have said that about me before, I'm a tool that'll do a job. But, hey, what goes around comes around. Yeah, this, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm sure you've all watched the odd video here and there of an unboxing. And... The first one I watched it was like, yeah, okay, they can't all be like that. And so I watched a few more, and uh, there were. It's just some guy spending two or three minutes in front of, you know, buying something. He's bought, well, sorry, he's bought something. And um, he's opened the box to some cheesy music. I really don't understand what the uh, attraction is because if somebody's going to open something I want to hear about it 
you know, um, you know, it's like what type of cable is it? Yada yada yada. Uh, it's wire. That's as far as I'm concerned. It's. I mean, half of this stuff. Right, okay, it, it comes from China. You get what you pay for. If you're buying from China, don't start saying, oh, it's got cheap wire, it's got cheap this. Hell, it's cheap shit. You're buying cheap shit. What can you expect? Don't be stupid. Right, um, I've just got to figure out which I, what I can unplug now, because I'll unplug my soldering iron. Soldering station. And plug this in. Right, okay, so it's fused on the back there. That's cool. Yep, yeah, that's got a fuse in it. So that's the basics. In fact, tell you what I'll do, just to be on the safe side and show that I do care. Because I do care. I'll get a meter out and we'll make sure we've got some earth type continuity so that we don't go too fizzy bang. Yep, so we've got continuity. So we're earthed up to there, so that's cool. Um, when that's blistering hot at about 400 degrees, you can quite happily get hold of it and know that you're not going to get electrocuted. You'll have no skin left, but hey, what skin? So calibration, obviously you can set your air temperatures, that kind of stuff. I'm guessing that's going to be airspeed and this is going to be air temperature. And then we have an on off button. We do have instructions, but hey, instructions for when all else fails and you've broken things, so we'll save them for another day. Could be sooner than I expect, but let's uh, so right. Is there any? You know, I better read something because I was watching one program. That's a bit naff, isn't it? They're just glued on. Well, as long as they're glued on, going up, don't get. Uh, because it was somewhere the the. I'm guessing. Well, that's all in here, isn't it? So that's just going to be a giant transformer in there. And this is going to have the fan in here. Um, does it have a cool down? Oh, let's have a look at the chingler. Shall we have a chingler? It's cold. Oops, have a, 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 a trigger. Oh, that's nice. Adjustable airflow. Airflow and the wind gentle. Oh, I just I, 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 I to get violent wind. Uh, easy to adjust the temperature. It can be adapted to a wide variety of applications. Yeah. And it's provided with an inductive switch. Induction switch only holding the handle and the system enters the working mode the handle into the frame The system will end at standby state real-time and convenient operation. I guess it's always handy having a real-time heater otherwise it's um Can you get a non real-time heater? Never mind. The system has a cold wind function mm -hmm. The alloy shell compact durable. So yeah, you use a brushless fan long life and low noise. Let's find out What have we got? So this is the 858D LED my oh 700 watts brushes fan and soft wind gas flow 120 liters per minute maximum temperature 100 to 450 I've got no way of checking if that's going to be the right temperature um, so it's just like going to be guesswork to be fair to adapt to adapt the to to adapt to the desoldering various components chip types for thermal shrinkage oh yeah I've got some yeah there's a thought let's I'll just put a bit of this off. I've got some big nasty. There we go. Heat shrink. Yay! We'll have a play with that. Um, yeah, so we can. We'll melt that. Uh, Desoldering, pick it up, switch it on, um, and generally do shit. So let's do shit. Right. That's on. Oh, well, yeah. I don't know where you can hear that. Let's turn my wind up. So you can hear that. That's so cool. You pick it up, it switches on. So I've got the the wind. Uh, it's four and a half. That's supposed to be 100 degrees. So let's crank it up. See, I don't know whether this is centigrade or Fahrenheit. 450. So let's turn it down a little bit to say I don't know. Uh, 200. Sound good? Yeah, that, that's getting warm. Obviously it's not something... So will it? Yeah, right, okay. And so when I put it put it down there, the temperature slowed down. So I'll see if I can... 
So that's on 200, just what it's going up to. So that's what it's set to go to. If I put the gun down, you can see it's starting to cool down. It goes into the cool down cycle. Uh, I've got to be careful there, because otherwise I'm just going to melt everything else on my table here that you can't see, which, to be fair, that's, I actually need to clean this up. This is a real mess here. So we're up to, it doesn't actually tell you what it's heating up, what the current temperature is. On the front, there's an LED, uh, bottom right on the top corner. I'm guessing that is um, telling me that it is heating. But as I said, I've got no way of calibrating it anyway, so... How do I know when... That's really hot. Yeah. Well, that seems appears to work, doesn't it? It's a gun that pukes out hot air. Um, so I don't know <laughs> at what point you go, yeah, that works perfect, we took the temperature. But the fact it does that, that's, uh, that's fine and dandy. I like that. Yeah. Oh yeah, shit bag, that's really, that is, yeah, that was stupid, that. So kids, don't try this at home. Yeah, it works. Does what it says in the can. Yeah, so I'll put it down. I'll point that away from everything else. And now I should see that starting to cool down, which I do. Yeah. So it's, I'm guessing it'll all cut off. Um... So it's down to 126 degrees, 119, 121, 117, 120. Yeah, you don't really don't need a running commentary this day. But uh, yeah, you get the general idea. So that's going through a cool down phase. Doesn't say anything about the cooling down. Oh, there we go. So 100 degrees-ish. That's it, it's done. Yep. Be careful. Uh, pay attention to the line of fan. Do not damage. Fair enough. Install black handled shell. That means nothing. <laughs> Install black handled shell one, comma a handle shell on the fixed column in the fixing hole of the steel pipe inner. Does it mean that? That means nothing at all to me. Oh wait. So yeah, that yeah, that's yeah, that means bugger all. Uh, sensitive solar station has a problem, need to replace the heat. Uh, yeah, there's um, I think there's some relatively good chinglish in there, that's good fun. But anyway, yeah, it works, does the job. Thank you.